We started the project in 2016 as we were visiting our relatives we discovered that they were still using firewood to cook inside their homes and the house was full of smoke. So we tried to find a way that we could alleviate the problem and discovered that we could make charcoal briquettes from coconut waste which was smokeless and had as much energy as wood charcoal and it burnt longer so it cooked more dishes. We actually carbonize it outside. We have a contractor who carbonizes for us so we don't bring it as raw coconut husk. We've got small carbonization drums which we train people how to carbonize. But uh, at the moment we are just bringing in the carbonized coconut husks. We sift through to see if there's any um, stones or metal objects so that it doesn't spoil the machines and uh, we sieve it to remove the bigger pieces from the smaller pieces so that we can control the ratio which will give us a quality production. We normally use cornstarch but sometimes we use cassava starch when it's available. We boil it and then mix it with a carbonized either coconut shell or charcoal fines and we mix it in a mixer as uh, it brings a, about a consistency that can ensure our quality is the same for all our briquettes. We also have two or three workers normally to take them out to the drying shed. We have a drying shed which is made of uh, UV treated um, material so that uh, it can um, heat up the charcoal and it dries a lot faster than when it's outside uh, we, in, the, in the sun. For every ton of wood charcoal that is made, um, almost 20 mature trees are cut down. So we believe that uh, to reduce the deforestation that is ravaging our country, we need to find alternative fuels which are sustainably made which ours is uh, made from coconut uh, waste. With the rise of carbon emissions over the past 30 years, climate change experts are looking for answers. And this is why the United Nations is focusing on sustainable development goal number seven, which is clean and affordable energy.